right, guys. Welcome back to Jack on Tracks. And uh, in this episode, we're going to cut the floor out for this thing. So uh, I got lined up. And I ran. I'm going to run the uh, exacto knife around the edge. Best I can. All right. Take the marker. Do the same. All right. All right. If, uh, Everything works out right. I'll be a little bit oversized. If I'm a little oversized, it's not a problem because you can always make it smaller. So a little bit big, which is fine, because we can file it down. Basically, be right back. Yeah, I couldn't see it. Could not see it. Just a little proud on there. Perfect on that one. Perfect on that one. Is that, uh, that's pretty good. So, <clears throat> what I'm going to do, I'm going to paint this bottom concrete. That's going to get painted concrete. Because that's built on a slab. So we'll set up and get that done. And then we'll pop back in. Hey guys, welcome back. And here we are uh, back on this building. Uh, so what we got to do is we got to get this roof figured out. That's one part. And... Um, I get the roof figured out. And I, I want to try... I'm gonna try getting this the uh, see if I can get one of these doors to 
look open. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to a brand new blade on here. Right out of the box. And I'm going to try scoring it up. And uh, I'm going to try something a little, little different. I make my, my life a little bit easier. I'm actually going to have to cut the this bottom sill is going to have to get cut off because it uh, interferes with the, the floorboard that's in there. But hold it down in place. I'm going to try the center line. Just gonna do some light scoring over and over. I get through. That's actually working pretty good holding it down. Oh, that just sucked. When I uh, initially went through this this kit, I thought there was extras stuff, but there's not. It's uh, basically they pretty well designed the castings where there's no extras. There's, there's a couple extra items, but not not doors and windows. And I was hoping that I could get a titchy door that might fit in here, but it doesn't seem that I have any that are going to fit in this opening without me modifying the openings, which I still might do. I haven't decided yet. This structure is relatively easy. The other structure, not so much. All right, we're getting through here. <clears throat> All right, what I gotta do is uh, change my angle here. Getting a little, getting a little rushed, and I'm making mistakes here. So, Got to slow it down. All right, that's that. Okay, so. We got this pretty much separated. Now one door are ready to open. Door not ready to open. Let's A little more stability. Woodworking trick. You got to glue something together to make a cut it together, whatever, for any reason. Put tape, a little CA glue on it. Tape on both sides, CA glue, and when you pull apart, the tape comes off. The CA is attached to the tape, not to the, pro the project that you're working on.
right. There we go. Put it on the other side. I think it's going to work. All right. I'm going to tape this up one more time so I don't break it. There we go. <sighs> Not what I wanted to do, but now that I did it, I have no choice but to go with it. All right. We're going to open these doors like this. And going to have to add, oh, add nothing to it. But what I'm going to do, just to make sure, All right, let that dry. I think that's going to be a fix for that door. <sighs> Let me see. Go back in here again. I mean, this does... This door does go from the outside. Hmm. I don't know. Could even uh, put a piece of channel top and bottom and make it look like a slider. You know something? That looks like a pretty good idea. Two of those equals one looks like it could be one opening. I don't know. All right. Yeah, give me late. Let me go do a little thinking and I'll be right back. All right. So off camera by accident, I, uh, I cut a piece of this into a corner beat corner molding and i kind of made a little door trim so it'd be like a hanging barn door on that side i'm not sure where it's going to go but it fits there perfectly it'll fit over here they fit over there fine and over here not so much only because i uh this side, this side is going to go to the track, I believe. I think. I don't know. Possibly this side. But that's the answer to that door. So, this was a great idea. 
but it's not it's not staying sturdy enough for me. So I mean, just keeps breaking off. What I'll do is one last time, I'll try to sit in there like that. But I don't think that's going to work. So, I'm hoping I got another one of these, another one of, where did it just go? Another one at that door that I just showed you guys, wherever it just went to, on this table. Hopefully I got another one of those. I'll make another piece to go on top like that. And, uh, I'll have two doors that are open on this building. Right, let me go see. Let me see what I got. Almost fits, but no. Not close. Not enough. So, yeah, we just uh, give you a heads up when you buy on eBay. Never believe you won't believe them when they say something is new. Because this was supposed to be new and there was obviously stuff taken out. Like the other one of the doors. But since I do have the sheet, I can go on there and see what your door is. Eighty sixty six, and uh, I'll go back on eBay and see if I can find a brand new eighty sixty six. So those bad boys. Oh. Man. Just a little bit too big. How about this one? Nope. All right. Man, it was worth a shot. Never know. Well, we'll figure that out. But, uh, maybe I'll only have one of them. I don't know. Yeah. All right. So we'll be right back. All right. So moving along, we had the door kind of semi halfway, not really figured out, but we're going to move on. I'm actually going to, we're going to see if I can get a couple, if I can order those online, if I can get those online and I'll just make, I'll just make a bunch of these and I'll do all the doors like that. Because I honestly think that looks that looks much better. So we'll figure that out. Well, I really got to get this roof narrowed down so I can at least when I, if I take this to the show. At least put a roof on it. This is the way it is. All right. All right. That looks pretty good. 
Ah. Put a little line here. So if you want to put these two buildings together. You can just trim off the roof. Huh. Very smart, Mr. Bond. Very smart. Now what I have to figure out how to do is I have to figure out how to hold this in place. Yeah, we'll be using some sort of tape. So, get this nice and lined up. And I want to get this gap nice and tight. I'm going to go that route then because I'm not taking this off. Not too concerned about that because that's going to get covered up. It's already dry. We're going to do the paper on top of here, but I'm going to use a, a much lighter, uh, like I did the other one, but I'm going to use a much lighter uh, grade of paper. I'm actually using the tissue paper. So we'll see that comes out. Yeah, that's it. That looked, uh, that roof's on there right now. It's uh, just taped on. I can take it off, but it's, gap is sealed up. Everything's nice and squared away. Clean these up a little bit, but that's not a big deal. I'm going to go get the, uh, the thick uh, Tamiya table, but I'm going to go get, grab that, come back, and then we'll uh, give it a little bath of that in the inside to really tighten it down. All right, be right back. I don't know what it is, but I, I feel that you can get it together with that thin. It's really good. But you put a little, you run a little bit as thick over the top of it, and it is not going anywhere. Yep, 
think that thick really just locks it down. You know, I mean, not locks it, just really gives it a good bond. So I'm going to decide what color I'm doing this in. Roof's obviously going to be black. I got a uh, black tissue paper. You remember on the uh, the other building, I used um, uh, art paper, kind of like uh, a little bit thicker than uh, printer paper, but it you know I, you know I, I couldn't find anything thinner than that in uh, in black. So it kind of bolted that. It looks good on tape. Looks good in person. I just want to see if I can get something that looks a little bit lighter. Looks a little thick. You know what I'm saying? It looks heavy in person. I want to see if I can get something that has like a, a more of a scale appearance to it. I may just, I may just tape this off again down here and shoot this thing one more time with primer just to close off these ends a little bit more and uh i weather it up a little bit and call it a day but i'm not really I'm not sure of that yet all right i think we can pop this top off big uh i think sure open I'm telling you, I think I really, I really do think that hitting it with that thick just locks it, locks it right down. All right, guys, so um, basically, that's where we are with that for today. The, uh, I told you I showed you the good, the bad, and the ugly. You saw the ugly. That pretty much was a fail for that door, but we came up with this, which is pretty much going to be the savior. This, I don't, I don't know, this just doesn't look, this just doesn't look right to me. I don't know, maybe if I take these doors off, sand them, and stick them to the back. Maybe. I don't know. It just doesn't look good that good. But I'll figure something out. Maybe I'll just grab more of those, and we'll go from there. All right, guys. Thanks for watching Jack on Tracks. Uh, like and subscribe. Really, guys, hit that subscribe button if you're watching. And, uh, because... A bunch of you guys watching, not a lot of you guys subscribing. So, uh, you know, hit the notification button if you want to see the next part of this build and the uh, next stuff coming on. We're going to do uh, this build is going to get lights inside um, soon. And it's just going to get one bulb in there. I'm just going to put one LED probably up in the top here just to illuminate down inside. It's really all it's going to need. And then. Uh, I don't know. Should I put a second floor in here? I don't think so. I know that's a little crazy. But then again, this is Jack on tracks, and I don't know what I'm doing until I know what I'm doing. I still don't know what I'm doing. So, yep, like and subscribe, hit that notification button, and stay tuned. We got more stuff coming up. Um, we're creeping up onto 200. Uh, we're probably going to make a decision on what we're going to do. I might. I don't know if I'm going to do a 200 giveaway or 250 giveaway. I've been mulling it over. I might change it up to 250 just to give me some more time to uh, really put a little extra money into that giveaway and make it uh, a little extra nice. But, uh, yep. Thanks for watching. As always, catch you later.